So before I start out this video, I do have to give credit where credit is due. Manny Pacquiao, congratulations on your victory last night against Asian and Problem Broner. My prediction was wrong, but hey, I like the underdogs. I go for them. Sometimes I win, sometimes I lose. It is what it is. I went for the hometown guy and he lost. But to all the Manny Pacquiao fans as well as Manny Pacquiao, I just wanted to say salute and congratulations, champ. You deserve it. I guess I will start this video out by saying first and foremost, I got snacks, oh snacks, oh snacks. Snacks, oh snacks, oh snacks. I got snacks, oh snacks, oh snacks. Snacks, oh snacks, oh snacks. Your girlfriend called my phone. She said she can't leave me alone. Cause I got these snacks, oh snacks, oh snacks. Snacks, oh snacks, oh snacks. <laughs> What's up everybody on YouTube? This is your man Jay, that slaughter. And I'm back with another video, all right? On today's video, I want to talk about a subject that's really close, near and dear to my heart. And that's um, the fact that I am a type 1 diabetic. So I've been a type 1 diabetic since I've been in second grade. And um, I know there's a, there's a characterization of what a diabetic looks like in today's age. And it's not a very good picture. So I just want to bring to light that not all diabetics look like what you think they look like. Old and missing feet and toes and all that good stuff. There are young people like me that are type 1, that are type 2, that are living with this disease every day, living a, a good, normal life, a healthy lifestyle, and we just have to make certain compromises along the way to continue on and to live a healthy lifestyle. But at the same time, the compromises that I make do not, do not in any way sacrifice my taste buds because I still got to eat and I like to eat good food. So today I'm going to be giving y'all my top diabetic snacks that I like to eat on a daily basis that keeps your boy looking slim trimming in the gym you know what I'm saying so without further ado let's get into it with number five all right everybody so coming in at number five I got these Nutter Puffs and boy these things are made by the company that makes the pop chips and I got this um variety pack at Sam's Club actually so you can get a pack of peanut butter and chocolate Nutter Puffs along with a pack of just peanut butter and other puffs. And man, let me tell y'all something. This right here gets me going every single time. All right, so I'm not like the best at loving super sweet things, but this is just enough sweet to get me there, all right? Like it's got the, the chocolate and peanut butter combination. It hits your mouth immediately. It gives you a nice bit of mmm. When you're eating it, it's like, It's sweet, but it's not super sweet, which is what I love about. And the puff combination with it, it's crazy. It's like eating a Cheeto puff on steroids and a chocolate peanut butter bath or something. Crazy. <laughs> These puffs are amazing. Thing, from a diabetic standpoint, this only has 15 carbs in one pack which is very good, and the sugar is low. It's only three grams of sugar in this pack. And you know, being diabetic, the nutrition label is like your best friend, so all this stuff is found on the nutrition label. And it's a good low-carb snack. If you're not diabetic, you just want a good low-carb snack, this is the way to go. It's tasty, delicious. I do got seven grams of fat, so not as nutritious, but still gets the job done compared to like Regular potato chips have like 12, 13 grams of fat in a pack of chips. You can get these for seven. So, I highly recommend this. And I can't stop eating them, to be honest with you. I'm gonna keep letting this camera roll. I'm just gonna keep bashing these. And then we'll get into number four. In a few minutes. And give me the time to finish these. We're just gonna take a moment. Woo! Coming in at number four. Number four. <laughs> We got the veggie straws, all right? Veggie straws. And I like the zesty ranch version of it because a brother likes a flavor in his straws, all right? I gotta have them zesty ranch straws. They got a sea salt version of these, but they didn't do it for me. When I had these zesty ranch, I was like, oh yeah, this is the one. These are the ones that's kicking right here. It got a nice crunch for one. But let me tell you about the crazy stuff for these, all right? So if you look on the nutrition label, 
it'll say about 38 straws. You can eat 38 of these straws and the carbs on is only 15 grams. You can eat 38 of these straws. I never eat 38 of these straws to get the total carbs of 15 grams. So that means this is a great, great low carb snack. Cause really listen to me, I'll probably eat 10 or 15 of these and I still want to clear 15 grams of carbs because it takes 38 straws to get to the 15 carbs. So if you don't like a low carb diet as well, and you need some little snack on, just get you there. And it tastes amazing. Got crunch. You don't even need potato chips. You just eat these. And these got seven grams of fat as well. So they way better than potato chips. And overall, it is just a great little snack to have on the go with you. And you also feel good about snacking on here. So I am definitely a fan of these garden veggie straws. Highly recommend it. On the package alone, it says 30% less fat than leading potato chips. So I love it. Can I recommend your diabetic? Person that's not trying to eat a whole bunch of carbs, this is perfect for me. So, number four, garden veggie straws, amazing. Get that crunch, get that ranch flavor. Cause I'm all about that flavor, baby. I'm all about that flavor. So, all right, let's get into number three. Well, hold up, your boy's still smashing in. All right, now let's get into number three. All right, so number five and number four out the way. Now let's get into number three, all right? So coming in at number three on my top five diabetic snacks, I got these made good chocolate crispy square bars, okay? Now, if you love Rice Krispie Treats, this is a healthy alternative for uh, Rice Krispie Treats, all right? Oh. <laughs> It's not, as, it's not as sweet as a Rice Krispie Treat by any means, but it still gets you there, all right? It gives you the sweet, it still gives you a sense of sweetness. It's still crunchy, still got that pop in it. And it's got little chocolate chips on the inside to give you a little extra chocolatey goodness, which I love, because I love chocolate with a passion, so anytime I can get something with some chocolatey goodness, I'm all about it, all right? I mean, look at this little chocolate right here, you know what I'm saying? Brother like little chocolate, you know what I'm saying? It's right here, got a little chocolate in it, a little, little thickness, you like. <laughs> this bar is nice. It's definitely a sweet treat. That's good to eat, all right? So coming in at number three, made good crispy rice squares. Shout out to the people that made good. Y'all make this real good. Y'all need to change your name from made good to the bomb, all right? These names the bomb. So with all that out of the way, now number three is done. We about to hit it to number two. And it's about to get real, people, because this one right here is one of my favorites. So let's get into number two. People, here we are at number two. That's right. Number two on my top five diabetic snacks list. And I have Halo Top Ice Cream. If y'all know about Halo Top, y'all know one thing. It's some seriously good ice cream, all right? And when I mean seriously good, I mean delightful. So, I have had a bunch of Halo Top brands through the years, but my favorite one by far is the chocolate mocha chip, okay? It's only 320 calories per pint, which I love. And check this out on the nutrition label. It says for a half a cup, it's only three grams of fat, 15 grams of carbs, which is very low, and it's only six grams of sugar. Now, with certain sugar-free ice creams that I've had through the years, they can taste real aspartame or real Splenda-ish. Like, the ice cream maker, manufacturer, they were overdosed on the artificial sweeteners, which I hate. Makes ice cream taste weird. These people do not. And I'm looking on the ingredients, and I don't even see... Yeah, I don't even see, like, aspartame in here. It's just a lot of organic stuff, so I love that as well. So, it's just, like, basically, like, real sugar, real milk, and, like... Just healthy ingredients for you. I mean, not healthy, but healthier, healthier than a lot of ice creams out here these days, for sure. And it's got a lot of organic stuff in it. 
So that's that's helpful as well. I like my stuff from the nature, you know? I mean, I come in here, chocolate and all the rest is like, bang, 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 bang. bang. I be getting chocolate overload on this, man. I think the best way to describe this ice cream is if you're having girl problems off of bath, you son, I got 99 problems in this ice cream ain't one. Hit me. Hey! 99 problems, but my ice cream ain't one. Hey! <laughs> hey, y'all see me rocking the Jay-Z Biggie shirt today. I pay homage to the greats, all right? I was gonna drop a bar on Jay or Biggie in this video, and there it was. But yeah, y'all. This ice cream is phenomenal. I put it at number two for a reason. It stands out, I love it. It's a great treat. Whether you're diabetic, on diet, low carb diet, whatever it might be, it's a great treat for you. So go pick this one up, for real. J Slider recommended. And with all that out the way, for number two, it's time to get into my number one diabetic snack. And I have it at number one for a reason. I eat this snack every day. I'm in love with it. I've been eating it for a long time, um, and it's so good. And you might not see it coming, but let's get into it. Number one. So this is like my cheat, my cheat snack right here. This is why I kind of hide in the back so nobody can find it when they come over and like kick it over in my place. They're like, hey man, you got anything to eat? I'm like, nah, dog. Sorry, I'm all out. No snacks today. I ain't got nothing for you. Hey, but baby, you ain't got nothing. Nah, man. I ain't trying to have nobody eat my chewy dips, all right? <laughs> I can't have people eating these. This is for me, your boy, Jay Slaughter, all right? These things put a hold on me. They be saying, Justin, 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 can't you see? Sometimes the snacks just hypnotize thee. <laughs> all right, that bar is a little rusty. But the fact still remains, these chewy dips are number one for a reason, in my opinion. They're my number one snack. I love them to death. They're sweet, they're chewy, and it is all around the goat of diabetic snacks in my opinion right now. Quaker, you killed it with these. Keep on making them. If your boy had any type of recommendation for you, maybe the next one you can do like a dark chocolate and cherry. Woo, that would change the game. If you did something like that, put my face on, on the cover of the box, you know, just a little, little side action, you know what I'm saying? Pew, pew. Show off my good hair like this. You know, just catch a boy in a good light. And we can make it happen, Quaker. Let's go. <laughs> but all right. <laughs> Let me eat this and then I'll, I get to my conclusion in a second. Woo! All right. All right, people. There you have it. I gave you my top five diabetic snack list, okay? So I just want to say thank y'all for watching this video first and foremost, okay? This video, it took me a long while to make. It was a long day coming. From when I was a child, I was first diagnosed with diabetes. I knew instantly that my life would change forever. I knew I would always be different from my friends. This disease forced me at a young age to grow up, become a man, and know I have different responsibilities than everybody else that was around me. And I can say this truly made me a better person. Now, I know there are people out here watching the video that may have type 1 diabetes. I just want to tell y'all first and foremost, you can live a healthy lifestyle. You can do this, okay? I know there are good days and bad days, but just know that you're not alone, okay? We all have our good days and bad days when it comes to this disease, but you're never alone in the fight. Only thing you have to do is just reach out to people, ask questions, and watch cool people like me on YouTube, and I'll help you out too, all right? <laughs> but in all seriousness, I hope y'all stay blessed. Y'all um, have a healthy uh, year. And um, thank y'all for watching this video. It meant a lot to me. Um, this topic in general meant a lot to me. And um, I'll be more open when it comes to this topic in future videos. And I don't want to hide the fact that I am a type 1 diabetic because it's something I'm proud of to this day. And um, I, out there, I know there's a big type 1 diabetic community. And um, if you guys want to reach out to me, uh, feel free in the comment section below. Tell me about your favorite snacks. Tell me about any questions that you may have for me about my journey as a type 1 diabetic. Uh, like this video. Wicka, wicka. Like this video, okay? Subscribe to my YouTube channel, J. Slaughter, where we slaughter the competition. And until next time, be blessed, stay fresh. I'm out. Peace.